Hello everybody and welcome back to all of Fabric Tree. Today, we get rid of all our chests and make a storage system, as you can see behind me. I hope you enjoy. So today I think it's about time we upgrade our storage. Um, I have upgraded a lot of these chests into iron chests, basically because there is no storage at all, and I've been doing a little bit of mining and a little bit of exploration. So we literally have nothing. No space. This is a new chest. I put this one down, like, before I even started, and it's already full. I have so many flash bows and the weaknesses because I was converting the villagers from zombies back into villagers, trying to reduce their prices. Now I'm at the point where I can buy a bookshelf for one emerald and get three books and sell them back. So I make more emeralds than I sell. And so I've done a little bit of trading, leveling them all up, and I've got a fair bit of emeralds. So I've also added my enchanting area back here. And every one of these bar, this guy, I believe, are maximum level. Because uh, he's a new addition. Actually, no, he's the infinity guy. Who's the new addition? Oh, you are. Yeah, Fortune Tree. He's the new addition I got from another village. And I have upgraded my tools. Uh, mainly put Sharpness 5, a sweeping edge on my sword. And I've got Fortune Tree. One thing I have noticed about this Omega enchanting is when it's blue, it's your maximum. You can see here, Efficiency 3, it's red. And I tested, and I have combined two Efficiency 4 red ones together, and it made an Efficiency 4, or Efficiency 5, um, blue one. So, red just means it's not maximum, I think. I'm not sure, I couldn't find any tutorials on it, so if anyone knows the tutorial in this mod, um, please let me know. Because, as far as I can see, when it's blue, it's your maximum enchantment level. So today we need to upgrade our storage, and I think we're going to start making a remote storage system using slot link. So we need a network master, a storage request, cable, a link cable, and a remote. That remote will allow us to access our storage from 512 meters away. We can upgrade that remote as well to a unlimited or an unlimited remote storage so as long as you're on the same dimension you can access it from anywhere and the only thing we're missing is phantom membrane so we might try and get that as well because I have everything else I believe the gas tiers maybe not but that's not too hard to go fly after a gas and then there's the multi-dimensional one which requires a heart to see dragon's breath and a nether star we haven't done anything to get anywhere near getting a dragon's breath or a nether star and i still didn't get any skulls off those wither skeletons i killed in the last episode but one thing i didn't include in the last episode was the exploration part because to get this spruce i had to travel a fair bit now i cut out all that because it was extremely boring and if i included all the out the video would have been like two hours long so yeah, I ended up doing all this exploring in the last episode, but never included it. Um, if you want, let me know. We could go a, a quick fly around and I could show you everything. But pretty much all we found was another village. This red mountain is literally just red terracotta. I grabbed a bunch of it while I was there. So it's all in this chest. Yeah, so there's a few stacks of red terracotta. We might use it for something. But other than that... Um, I explored all this area, we found a desert, and there was multiple villages, like you can see there's a village here, a village here, a village here, it's like five or th eight villages are here. And there's probably a lot of red mountain appearing here, but throughout everything here, oh yeah, there's like four sea temples as well. Uh, three, four, yeah, something like that. And they're all sea temples, so we at least we know where one of those are, so we can go get some more prismarine later on. But out of all this, I didn't find any spruce. This is a new area I kind of checked out um, before I started. But to get my spruce now... Oh, I know, this is where I go. Yeah, I fly south and, and get the spruce from here. So that's where I got my spruce from. So I have grown a few trees up here. So we got like a, a mini forest of just gigantic spruce trees. So we have an uh, unlimited amount of spruce. But today we're sorting out our storage network because 
everything is all over the place. I have no clue where anything is sorted. I tried to make this thing all materials and ores, and we have like six stacks of iron. And we'll be getting way more in the future once we make an iron golem farm, which might be the next episode. But to this episode, we need to make storage. So we need a network master. It says, heart of the storage connection, one per connection. So we need four blocks of quartz, some cable, and a diamond. Now a cable is some stone slabs and some iron. Other thing you might have copped, I did upgrade the furnace to an emerald one, because we had so much emeralds now. Uh, the next tier is a um, nether one. No, it, yeah, an end furnace. So we need to take a trip to the end and get some end rods, an end stone, and a shulker shell. Once we've done that, we can upgrade it to an ethereal fence or furnace, which will give us a dupe chance of 100%. So it'll double everything. So we'll basically quadruple our ores once we make this ethereal furnace. That's what I'm thinking will happen. But other than that, um, we need quartz. Now I did see my quartz in one of these chests. There we go. Take a little bit extra. So I need to smelt this stone into smooth stone. So I can upgrade or make this cable now. So the cable is regular stone slabs and two iron. Now how much iron do I have? I have 58. And let me give me a few of those diamonds. Do I need any more diamonds after that? No, but I do need gold. And I don't know if I have any gold. Uh, six gold, four ore. Yeah, we'll just grab some gold out of here and we'll just smelt it quickly. That should be enough stone just to get started. So we need to figure out where we're going to build this now. I'm kind of thinking having the access terminal right here. Going down and underneath this entire floor. Will be a massive array of diamond chests. Now I think diamond is the max. Uh, not the max. But netherite would be the max. But I believe nothing is bigger than diamond as of right now that we have. There is an obsidian chest, but I think that just makes the chest blast resistant. I don't think it actually increases the storage or the capacity of it. So once this is done, let's make our cable. So we should be able to make our cable like so. Take out that in the middle. Okay, so we got a stack. That should be plenty. So what we need also is link cable, which link cable allows us to connect our system to our storage, which will be our chests. Now I'm hoping this thing works with the likes of iron chests. We can test it now in a second. If I just turn all these into chests. Let's see, can we make a stack of chests? And so, sorry, stack of chests. So stick this in here, makes link cable. So we need to connect every single chest with link cable. So we'll make a stack of it, why not? So we need to smelt a little bit more stone so we can make a bit more of this cable. But a stack should allow us to connect everything. So I'm thinking right in the center. Do we actually have a center in this house? I think right here. Yeah, this would be the center of the room. Uh, maybe right in the center of the kitchen right here. If we go down, probably about one more lower and expand out this way. One, two, three. One, two, three to tree so this should give us a plenty big room yeah this hammer is so fast I mine faster than I can actually place or use as you can notice I have repaired everything everything's got mending now and I did make an adamantium axe and adamantium shovel eventually we'll upgrade to adamantium armor but as of right now um we do not have enough adamantium we have enough vibranium we do have enough vibranium to make a full set of armor, but this, what's the point of making vibranium when we can just upgrade straight to adamantium? Alright, so we need to make an elevator so we can get up and down out of here. Can I fly out? Yes, I can. Just do that quickly. So, down there we'll have our section for all our chests. So we need to upgrade our chests now as well. So our chests will be upgraded into diamond. We should have enough diamonds to upgrade all of our chests um, so we can have a full set of diamond chests down there so let me see it, it takes two diamonds to upgrade a chest so with this amount of diamonds say if we use 32 we can make 16 diamond chests so that will double together so that would be a total of eight double chests 
so we can have a sec an area of eight double chests down here. I do need some torches, so we can light up the area. Actually, give me some lanterns. We also need to figure out blocks we're going to use, so let me grab some spruce. And if we just come down here, let me drop our lanterns here, here, and here, and here. Uh, wait, where am I put? No, okay, yeah, it's the right spot there. So I'm thinking, since this room is now a four long, so what does that make it? It makes it a nine by nine. So this room is nine by nine. So let's say we put a spruce pillar up along here in each corner, like so, just to give it some sort of decoration. And we could expand it this way as well. So if I do this. See, we're going to break into underneath the, the floor right here. But that should be fine because we can just slab it out. So we can have a row of chests along here and a row of chests along here. And I kind of want to make the chests indented into the wall. Because I'll show you now in a second the way I want to organize these chests. So I should be able to just do this. This hammer is unbelievably fast and it's ridiculous. I, I keep over clicking when I don't need to. So the chest is going to be something like this. So the chest is going to sit here like this. And all you can see is the front here, but it'll save space. So that is the whole plan. So I need to expand this wall this way a tiny bit. I don't know how far this way I'm going to go yet, so. So, what we need to do is cover in the back wall here. So, we need to go one more out this way. So, we can put some wood. Just to give the room a little bit of decoration. And so it doesn't look like it's just made out of stone. So, it'll look like that. The cable will be all connected in the back. Actually, I, there's no facade for the cable, so... If I'm hooking the cable up, I need to actually remove all of this and put a cable there instead. Unless I go back one more and have the chest here and the cable here and still have your wooden wall behind the cable to give it not such of a, a grey look behind the wall. So if I break the floor up one as well. I don't necessarily mind about the wood floor over there. I can fix that as well. Up one. So this wall is going to be back like tree. Like that. So more or less going to be building like this. So I'm going to build this and I'll be right back. Alright and that's the room I think. So I left it so we can actually expand out this way more if we need to. So we have a seven block gap, so we can put a ton of chests here. I need to put a row of link cables across the back here. I, I think I actually have to put down the chests and then the link cables. So we'll do that after. So what we need to work on now is the elevator. So if I look up elevator, we have a few color options. Now, do we want it to stick out of the floor? Like, this kind of is a brownish yellow. So do we want to go with like a yellow elevator, a brown elevator, a grey? Grey? Light grey might not be that bad. Um, Let's see, white... I think light grey will work. We'll use light grey, it'll, it'll match the area, so... We'll do light grey. So we need four light grey wool, tree iron, a piston and an ender pearl. So we need a piston. Uh, I should have a few pistons, I thought. I might be thinking of something else. Okay, so we need redstone for a piston. We need wood and cobblestone, which have that. We need iron. So wood across the top. Wood across the top. Actually, we need two elevators, so they link. So we need two sets of pistons. Like so, two pistons. And we need light gray wool. Now, I should have a bit of wool lying around, because I did um, kill a few sheep. Yep, there's wool. Now, do we have light grey wool? 
or anything to dye it light grey. Do I even have black dye? I don't think I do. And we don't have a plant that can make black dye, do we? I don't think so. So we might have to quickly run over to the ocean and kill a squid. Yeah, we don't. We do have white dye, but we don't have black dye. So let's go quickly kill a squid. Alright, squid dead. And turn that together to make grey dye. Now to make this light grey dye, we grab a bone. And a little bit more mole meal to make white dye. And then turn that into light grey dye. And to combine that, we need a little bit more black dye with some white dye. Actually, might as well turn this all into white dye. Black, white, and grey. Make two more light grey. And boom. Four light grey wool. So two pieces. Oh, we need eight light grey wool, don't we? Okay, we need a little bit more bone meal. We need our bone. Turn this all into light dye. We need to make another ink sack. Might as well turn this all into black. There's grey. Four sets of grey. And there are four um, of light grey. Grab more. Four more wool. Dye all this light grey. And I think all we need now is tree iron and an ender pearl. So give me out the iron and a, an ender pearl. There we go. I need a second ender pearl because... because I keep forgetting we need to make two of these elevators. Very nice. So if we put one down here. In the floor. And one right here. And if we grab some wood and block it up. If we just stand here. Okay, that was weird. So if we shift, it teleports us down. And if we jump, it teleports us up. Which is exactly what we want. Now, this is where the cable is going to run up into our network. So we need to make now the network master, which is a quartz cable and a diamond. So we have the quartz, the cable and a diamond. We just combine that to make four blocks of quartz. Like that. Cable and a diamond in the center. Makes a network master. And now we need a storage request, which is four crafting tables, a gold, and a bit of cable, link cable. So I need a little bit more wood to make four crafting tables. And we should be able to make our storage request. So with these, we should be able to put the network master right here. And our storage request right here. So in here is where we can access our inventories and craft. So now we need to make the chests. So we need actually a lot of iron. So I'm actually going to smelt up probably another stack of this iron. So we can upgrade all our chests. Let me dump my inventory into here. Grab out our 48 chests. Uh, take me out all of the iron that we have. And all the gold and our diamonds. Now with di to make diamond chests we need a lot of glass. So we need to... Get some sand, which I did grab a load of. So once this iron is smelted, we can cook this glass. Uh, turn... Wait, why won't they stack? There's something really weird going on. I don't know what it is, but a lot of items won't don't like to stack. Like when I was trading with the villagers, like paper, it just wouldn't combine together. And like some emeralds wouldn't stack at all. So I don't know what's going on with that. I just saw 20 more iron up there. Oh, we have a heart of the sea. Wait, since when did we get a heart of the sea? Oh, okay. Oh, I think this is actually a bunch of loot that we got from exploring. I just completely forgot about it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I didn't really find much. It was mainly stuff in like dungeons on the way back. That I didn't kind of lose. Like there was another meteor. Like two more meteors here. They both have meteorite in it. So there was no point even trying to mine it all. But these sea temples. will eventually have to go do these. And these look like underwater volcanoes. So we could turn that into something. Um, other than that. 
there's nothing else really around that was important. A, a fact that there's just a ton of villages, but even then, like, the villages didn't really have anything of use. So, all this iron turned these chests into iron chests. I can only make eight. Okay, we're gonna, it's gonna cost us a lot of materials to upgrade all of these chests. Alright, so seven, seven, we got five gold chests. Uh, why did you stop? Oh. Make more. We're gonna make two more. I don't know if we're gonna actually end up turning all these chests into uh, gold chests, but we'll try and make as many as we can. So this should allow us to turn these five golds into five diamond chests. Oh, we ran out of um, glass. But I just wanna see now, if I put these together, they do combine, so that's what I want. So I'll stack all these up there. The thing is, you can upgrade these later on to have more storage if you can't get it all together. So it, you, you can make upgrades for them. So if I look up um, chest, if I could type, chest, is a chest upgrade? No. I think if you look up, uh, what's the name of this mod? Expanded storage. There. So you can see, we can turn an iron into a gold, a dime, an iron into a diamond upgrade. So if we wanted to, we could just put down a bunch of iron chests and eventually upgrade them all into diamonds straight from iron. So we could do that if we wanted to. So we might actually end up doing that because I doubt we're going to have enough gold smelt. Even though we have like two stacks of it here, gold is actually one of those uh, resources we actually haven't got much of. Even though I have mined a lot. As you can see, I have a ton of resources. But everything will be going into this storage request. Removing all the chests here, which we can, then we can turn. Use the space for something else. Alright. Um, I will smelt up another stack of iron. And we should be able to upgrade these into diamond chests. Like so. There we go, we got eight more, and we've got a zombie trying to attack our villagers. Right, so we go down here, put down our diamond chests. So how big is the storage now? Oh my god, it's massive. Yeah, so we can have, we'll end up filling this entire room up with chests. Now the other thing is, I don't know if I'm going to use these lanterns down here, because... It doesn't really give enough space, so I'll put it there just to light it up. But what I want to now grab is this link cable, and this link cable is going to be connected like this. Now, I need to run the cable behind the wall right here. So as you can see, our basket is right there, so we'll run the cable down to here, and it will run in and connect to anything that's down here. So our cable should be either behind this block right here. Yes, it is. So if we grab cable and just block this back up here. So if we grab cable, run it all the way down and we'll do the same right here. So if I break a spot right there, do this like that. This cable will hook there and run to here. So if we just come down off this master and connect it there. So we can actually fill back in that wall and you'll never see the thing. So everything will be connected through pipes and cables along here. So we come up here and grab our iron, upgrade our furnaces to the rest. We're almost maxed out on the amount of chests we have. Like for now, we could just fill the entire room up with chests and upgrade them in the future. It's not that big of a deal. Because right now, I doubt we have enough iron to fill the entirety of the room. Even if I can just get one side filled, that will take up all the storage of what we have. Uh, right, so chests, so 24. I think that's all we're going to have room for. So if we just do this. Oh, I didn't want it to do that. Alright, we'll just have to do it like this. 
Oh, so they just turn into long chests. Oh, okay, I didn't expect them to turn into long, long chests like that. So this mod just allows chests to connect in all sorts of ways. Um. Okay, we're out of chests. So let's link all these up. Like so. It doesn't matter if we can't open the top ones, and um, we don't need to open it. Alright, that will work like that. So we might as well run the cable everywhere we can. Because we'll probably need it eventually. So we just need a little bit more iron chests, which we should have. We smelt another bit of iron. So I'm thinking while this iron is smelting, let's work on making our storage remote. So we need to make another link request so we need a little bit more wood so we need a few more logs of wood to turn into planks and turn these planks into crafting tables and make our oh what do we need oh for this we need that and then we need redstone for the next part do we have everything now no we need one more piece of gold I should have at least a single piece of gold, if not enough nuggets to turn into a ingot of gold. Oops. Uh, do I actually have no gold? Okay, no, no worry. We can just smelt our gold ore. Got all the iron done. Chuck the gold in there. Makes two gold ingots. Okay, we lucky we got a double out of that. Makes a limited storage remote. Now, we could upgrade this with two phantom membranes. Now, I haven't slept in the last three or so days, so hopefully phantoms will spawn. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for them to... Uh, I'm not sleeping so they can spawn. So, I just need the iron and all the chests that we have left. It's only eight of them, so a stack is plenty. If we come down here, we just need to do this. Uh, I might have to break this wall just for a second, just so I can get the, the chests in. Like this. There we go. Put this back and put this there. Perfect. So we got a full area full of chests. Now, eventually we'll all upgrade them to diamonds, but rather right now we don't have the gold to do that. So this should be connected to our system right now. So if we open this, yes, yeah, so if we can start throwing stuff in here. So we might as well start emptying all of our stuff into here. I also made a staff of building uh, because putting all those blocks down was kind of a bit of a pain. So why not have a, uh, an item that will do it for you? So after we put everything in here, we should be able to use this crafting terminal to craft anything because every single item we own should be in here. So everything goes in there. Let's If we hop down here, we can see that everything's in a diamond chest and it's only one chest so far so if we break this we could also break the chest now stand here and just dump it all in boom perfect and with the iron chests that we get from here we can put link those back into the storage system we can go downstairs and put them down was that just three gas tiers i just saw Wait, so yeah, all we need then is a phantom membrane, and we have enough for it. Alright, this is going to be a bit laggy while I do this. Alright, I'm going to quickly finish doing this, and when I'm done, we'll get back to finding phantoms. There, so all of our items are now within our system, and as you can see, we have barely even touched our storage capacity. So we can actually scroll through all of our inventory slot space. So what's it say? Shift click moves one stack. Control shift click moves all stack. What does that mean? So control shift. Oh, so it moves all of it into your inventory at once. Okay. So using this system, we can find whatever we need now. So everything's not all clustered up. So I want to move this furnace to right here. Put the coal back in. And we don't even need this crafting table anymore. It's actually redundant because everything we craft is in here. So we can actually go 500 blocks and still access our storage. So how far is 500 blocks? 
Let's see, can we access it up here? We can. What about over here? Yes. Okay, so we have a fair bit of um, area we can actually cover from. Still get it. Still get it. Still get it. Okay, we can nearly go anywhere we want around this area and still have access to our storage. But wait, does it mean I can't take anything out after 500 meters, but I can still open it? I'm not sure. But either way, we have a remote storage that we can now access. I'm going to end it there. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you're not. And hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I go upload. And head over to my Twitch channel. I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. And while you're at it, check out my Twitter. I'll be posting updates, everything up there as well. So, without further ado, thanks for watching and goodbye.